Uh, next, we'll go to standard and assessment committee report. Committee Chair Scott Hansen, are you prepared to um, present your proposed um, motions from committee? With 17.3 school threat assessment model policy. Um, two new model policies have been developed to help threat assessment. Uh, the motion for the board is that the committee moves that the board accept the school threat, as school threat assessment model policy for LEAs and the model policy for schools, draft one. Okay, you need to scroll down to see. I can. Okay, there we go, found it. Okay, thank you. So the motion before the board is the board accept the school. Let me hold it. Did I miss it? Is it the threat assessment? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the one. Yeah. Okay, the motion before the board is the board accept the school threat assessment model policy for LEAs and the model policy for schools draft one. Discussion to the motion. Seeing none, please vote. Yes. Okay, thank you, Member Klein. The voting is complete and the motion passes unanimously. Please continue. Uh, moving on to 17.4. This is the elementary school council grant program um, and the requirements, the reporting requirements have been uh, um, streamlined in the spirit of simplifying things. Um, the motion for the board is that committee moves that the board approve R277-461 elementary school counselor grant program draft two on second and final reading. Okay, the motion before the board is that the board approve R277-461 elementary school Counselor Grant Program Draft 2 on second and final reading. Discussion to the motion? Seeing none, please vote. This is Natalie, yes. Okay, thank you, Member Klein. The voting's complete and the motion passes unanimously. Please continue. Um, Chairman, the next one is 17.5 R277-716, Alternative Language Services for Utah Students. Um, this one is a continuation um, with a, a slight modification in committee. Uh, the motion for the board is that the committee moves that the board approve the continuation and amendment of R277-716, Alternative Language Services for Utah Students, draft two on second and final reading. Okay, the motion before the board is that the board approve the continuation and amendment of R277-716, Alternative Language Services for Utah Students, draft two on second and final reading. Discussion to the motion. Um, Member Earl. Yes, thank you. I just wanted to say just real quick that our staff that works in this particular area, I have the numbers we're looking at tomorrow on our, um, on information that we're getting. Um, this is just an area that we have improved so greatly on for these children. And I just wanted a kind of a acknowledgement to the hard work. Um, anyways, I just wanted to make that public comment. Okay. Thank you, Member Earl. Uh, any other discussion? I'm not seeing any hand raised, so I'll restate the motion. Uh, the motion before the board is that the board approve the continuation and amendment of R277 dash 716 alternative language services for Utah students draft two on second and final reading. Board members at this time, please vote. Yes. Thank you, Member Klein. The voting is complete and the motion passes unanimously. Please continue. And we're on item 17.7. Um, annual assurances, this is R277-108. Um, we were able to um, pull out some of the assurances that seem to be redundant or not useful, um, uh, but we did keep in all the federal requirements uh, for more investigation. 
Um, and we decided that we would be bringing this back through the year to work on it. This is a work in progress, but at this stage, we need to get this uh, assurance document out to the LEA so that they can respond timely. Uh, the motion for the board is that the committee moves that the board approve R277-108 annual assurance of compliance by local school boards draft one on second and final reading, the recommended caveats. Okay, the motion before the board is that the board approve R277-108 annual assurance for compliance by local school boards draft one on second and final reading with the recommended caveats. Discussion from members. Seeing none, please vote. Yes. Thank you, Member Klein. Did I, Randy Booth, did I see, I don't, I didn't think I saw your, I'm sorry. Or Member Booth, did, did you vote? He got it. Okay, thanks. Uh, voting's complete and thank you. And the motion passes unanimously. That's all, uh, Chair Huntsman from Standards and Assessment. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your um, committee report. That con concludes all of our committee reports.